Welcome everybody. Uh, today we're gonna talk about a fun topic, uh, which is e-bikes. Yeah, I get it, I'm the road bike guy, but there's all sorts of great reasons for why you would wanna ride an e-bike, and if you're here watching this video, you're most likely in the hunt for the perfect bike for you. So let's talk about today, the Gazelle Medeo. Okay, so who is Gazelle? If you're new to buying a bike, this might be a name that you haven't heard of, especially in the United States. But if you're in Europe, and specifically in the Netherlands, where Gazelle is from, Gazelle is a household name. It's pretty much the same as if you were to buy a Ford here in the United States. It's just the thing that is everywhere. Now, if you know anything about the Netherlands, you know that they are crazy about bikes. They commute on them, they ride them, it's just kind of the thing. So. When you buy a Gazelle, I think what you get is not just the 100 plus years of experience of them developing and making bikes, but you also get bikes that are built for the streets that they have, that they ride on every single day. So that means when you're commuting, when you're uh, out on your fitness rides, when you're using these bikes for fun or transportation, however you wanna use them, they've really started to think about all those different things. When you buy a Gazelle, you're also going to get some of that great integration of different components. They spec things like internally geared hubs so that you can't have your derailleur bent if you park this thing next to a bunch of other bikes or you put it on the train and somebody has to get off ahead of you and they ding your derailleur. They have really robust paint, something that they're incredibly proud of. They have a very long paint process that just, you know, effectively piles paint up like an everlasting gobstopper. So if you get a ding when you're leaning the bike up against a pole and you've got it locked up outside the supermarket, you're not gonna get that big chip that would be customary of maybe a thinner, more delicate paint. The real thing is with these bikes, they're really built for everyday use. And the Medeo is one of their models that's really aimed at being that perfect active cyclist. Now, in Gazelle's line, they do have bikes for pretty much every style of rider. So if this bike, as we start to talk about it, doesn't really take your fancy, there's plenty of other options for you to choose from. The Medeo, on one hand though, is their bike meant for active riders. So what that ultimately means is somebody that's interested in fitness. Maybe they're gonna use this as that bike that has a little extra pep to get them out on that 20 mile loop to start getting them in shape. Or it's gonna be their fast, fun city bike that gets them around without a ton of extra baggage or anything like that. Talking about how this bike, the Medeo, fits, I think is something that's pretty important. Inside of the Gazelle line, you'll also find that there are bikes that are uh, very comfortable, that have nice upright seating positions, and that's really something that Gazelle strives for. Uh, rather than having a position like you'd be on a Tour de France race bike where you're hunkered all down, what you end up with on a Gazelle is a nice, upright, eyes up position that allows you to see everything, be able to turn your neck, unless you're old like me and have a crink in it. I honestly probably couldn't turn and see that bike if I wanted to. But it gives you the opportunity to be able to see your surroundings where you are. This bike, the Medeo, on, uh, on kind of maybe a slight difference to that, uh, does have a slightly more active position. Like I said, this isn't necessarily a comfort bike or your everyday commuter. So they've provided a little bit longer of a position and then they've also provided adjustable stems on every model. So those adjustable stems allow you to raise the handlebar or lower it to help improve the distance between you and the handlebar to make this bike as comfortable as possible for you. You're buying an e-bike, so let's talk about the motor. Now, if you're new to e-bikes, let's just get you up to speed on the different styles of bikes that you can buy with a motor. Gazelle sells mainly class one and class three bikes. Uh, those class two ones in the middle are those bikes that are full throttle. Um, come on, you wanna pedal this thing to some degree. Class one bikes will take you up to 20 miles an hour. Class three bikes will take you up to 28 miles an hour. And inside of the Medeo line, you'll be able to find both. So the model that we've got on stage with us today is the Medeo T10 Plus. This is the top of the line. It comes with the Bosch Performance Speed Series motor with 85 Newton meters of torque. We'll relate that in a second. But this is the one that's gonna take you all the way up to 28 miles an hour because it is a class three bike. So blending in with the motors, obviously you've gotta have something to power them, and that's the battery. Batteries on these bikes, the Medeo line, are going to be anywhere from 400 watt hours to 500 watt hours. And what that's gonna get you is a range of anything from on the fast model back here, 20 miles when you are in full on turbo, go as fast as you want mode, anywhere up to about 45 miles when you're on the eco mode. Models down the line that have uh, the performance series motor or the active series motor from Bosch, 
paired with a 400 or 500 watt hour battery can get you also anywhere from 40 miles to up to 100 miles when you're on that eco mode. The last thing, talking about range anxiety, if you're ever worried you can't go far enough, many of the models in the Medeo line also give you the opportunity to add in a second full-size battery. So you can go from 500 watt hours to a thousand watt hours, which means you can just effectively leave it on full gas all the time and never slow down. Bosch also, uh, in addition to their reliability, has really thought through the rest of the system. So many of the models that you'll see in the Medeo line have a nice, easy to read display that will let you know your speed, your distance, uh, your battery capacity, how far you have to go, all of the things that you need to know when you're actually commuting on the bike. Now, we talked about the range provided by the batteries, and that all kind of pairs back to the different motors. There is a great website, and we'll link it down below, uh, that allows you to see the different range capabilities paired with the motors and batteries. So if you want to learn a little bit more, please jump to that. So let's talk about some of the features in the Medeo line. All of the bikes in this line are gonna come with external shifting, meaning that they are going to have the traditional derailleur style shifting. If you're looking for a bike that has an internally mounted uh, rear hub that controls the shifting, many of those are gonna be in the other lines, the Arroyo or the Ultimate. On the rest of the Medeo line, however, you do have racks and fender mounts. Uh, most models will come with full fenders, so you're, whether you're commuting in the rain or in the dry, you're always gonna have that road grime off of you. They'll have a small rear rack, which will allow you to potentially attach panniers or bags so that you can use some storage and luggage on there. And then many of the models will also have integrated locks. I think this is one of the best features that Gazelle offers. For those of you that end up riding this bike commonly uh, every day, you're gonna go to the grocery store and you don't wanna have to carry another lock in the bottom of one of your bags, having a lock that is actually attached to the frame that can lock the rear wheel and make sure that the bike is gonna be safe and secure while you drop in to go grab something from the market, that is one of the really great things that I think comes from the years of understanding how these bikes are actually used every day. Another great thing about being an e-bike, you've already got a battery, so why not plug lights into it? All of the models in the Medeo line also have full-time running lights. So whether it's nighttime and you're trying to get home after dark, or it's in the middle of the day and you're looking for a little, for a little bit of safety, you still have that option of having those lights running all the time off the main battery. Another thing common with getting on a bike is trying to be comfortable, right? So one of the things that I think Gazelle has really done a great job of is integrating some comfort features to make sure that whether you're a new rider or an old rider, everybody's gonna be right at home on all of these models. Suspension forks up in the front to make sure you're smoothing out any big bumps. That's also another thing that helps with uh, flat protection. If you hit a big pothole, that always helps make sure that you're gonna keep air inside of your tires, which is you know, where you want it. Big comfortable seats and nice ergonomic grips also make it so you can ride this thing as long as you want, even past the battery going dead. Another great feature and a really big consideration of Gazelle across all of their models comes back to tire choice. Tire choice from Gazelle makes sure that they have robust casing so that you're not gonna get cuts. Also has a very thick tread to make sure that you're not going to get any punctures. For the most part, these things are gonna be pretty much run flat. They're gonna just go all day long. Another great feature of all of the Gazelle models. The last thing that I'll talk about, and this is always one of those small things that you never really think about until you need it. All of the bikes come with a integrated chain guard. That chain guard is gonna make sure that when you're riding to work in pants, you don't get dirt or grime on your pant leg, as well as sucking your pant leg in there, um, which I don't know, have you ever thought about getting stuck in an escalator? Same thing on a bike. All right, so the last thing, you've gotta pick the model that you want. The Medeo line is where Gazelle's line starts. So you can get into a Medeo T9 at about $2,400. So in the grand scheme of electric bikes, quite inexpensive for a model that's gonna give you all of the great features that Gazelle has added into the rest of their line. The model that's behind us is, again, the highest in the range and will go for around $3,600, but will give you that extra performance from the bigger motor, bigger battery, and all of the bells and whistles that you get when you upgrade to the top. All right, so that was the Gazelle Medeo line. If you've got any other questions, feel free to drop those down below. Or if you're interested in getting on a test ride, please stop by any of the stores here throughout Northern California. If you're not local and you're looking to have one of these things shipped, we can do that as well. So please feel free to reach out to our online sales team. They're wizards. They'll be able to help you with any question that maybe we didn't answer here. Or 
Check out a couple of the diff different links that we've got linked below to talk about range and the battery performance, the motors, those types of things. We'll make sure that that information is readily available so that you can research a little bit more on your own. Thanks so much, and we'll see you on the next one.